Ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? It's RTN Flacco here, back with another video, and today I'm going to be releasing my NBA 2K20 build, but at the same time, I'm still not exactly sure what build I would be going with, because I heard on Twitter, Baluba was talking about there will be more builds that you can choose from coming into 2K20's actual release, but yeah, this is the build I'm rocking with right now that I'm thinking about using, so <sighs> yeah, man. It's so early in the morning, I decided to get this video out the way, so you might hear me yawn a little bit. But, I was just looking around, I see this build with the primary, all the playmaking and a little bit of shooting in threes. But, um, it's not the one we went with because I still want to be able to shoot the ball, you know what I'm saying? And, yeah, so, we just did our thing on here. But, I wanted something that... I could be able to dribble, shoot the ball, finish around the rim. This build really helps with that. You know what I'm saying, man? And I was just testing out build to see what everything looked like. This is not the actual build I went with. I was just testing stuff out. This is like somewhat of a stretch build, something like that. Now, not like a stretch build, but like sh shooting and defense. This is the build I was planning to go with, but I was like, nah, I ain't going to go with this, bro. So... Later, you'll probably, yeah, you'll see me cancel out because that was not the build I was actually going with. I went up a little bit. You see the shooting, 95 shooting, 75 ball handling. So I thought maybe, like, you adjust some things and you could be godly on the court when it comes to shooting and dribbling. I feel like you just turn your, um, what's the name down? Your weight and wingspan and stuff like that. That'll help. And height. Yeah, but you have to be really short to do this, and I'm not trying to be at a height disadvantage this year. I was at a height disadvantage last year in a lot of games because I made my player 6'5", and yeah, I really paid the price for it. I lost a lot of games to point fours and two bigs and locks. So, I'm, deciding, I'm trying to figure out what build I want to go with because the dribbling is going to be different this year, so I don't want to just make a dribble and not know what I'm doing. Now, I was going to go with the shooter, but I don't want I want to run the offense because some people... People don't know how to run guard that, that much. And I want to be able to run the guard position. So, I decided, you know what? I'm going to go with, when I looked at this build, I was like, yeah, I could just tweak some things. Maybe get some boost. Because I'm going to have boost when I get the game, when it actually comes out. And then I could go with the main playmaker thing. And be breaking ankles still. With high ball handling. It's an underrated build, if you ask me. Plus unlimited boost. That build is going to go crazy. But... I decided to go with this build because it's all around. You can still dribble and you can still shoot the ball really good without boost. <sighs> so yeah, physical profile. I wanted to have vertical, but at the same time, I wanted to be fast. So I think, but I really wanted to be fast more than anything because the vertical, it comes with everything. You get what I'm saying? Vertical comes with the, um, with the speed and all that. When you take off and they give you certain dunks, well, not like vertical come with the speed, it comes with your driving dunk. So, I figured, you know what, I should probably just make my player real fast and then, and then from so on, make it, make it real fast and then just upgrade my dunks. Because I don't really need to be going in the air because I'm not the type of person to dunk every play. I want to sauce you up a little bit. If you help, kick it to my teammate. You don't have them taking you to the rack, which is why I made this build so we could do all three ball handling. Obviously, we're gonna turn it up. It's on the 84 right now, as you see, but you're gonna see what I do to upgrade it. Post moves, I turned that up because what if um, the shot clock's going down? You probably need something to help you out, just get a little bail off fade away. You know what I'm saying? I turned all the shooting up, all the shooting post fade. I didn't really care about that that much. I had 216 upgrades remaining, so what I did was. <sighs> making this video at 10 in the morning so what I did was I just turned my close shot all the way I tried to turn it all the way up but people were telling me nah don't do that but I think I ended up turning it all the way up at the end of this I turned a lot of finish I didn't want to turn it up too much because then it would categorize me as a slashing playmaker and I know a lot of y'all were getting that so for perimeter defense I went with this Steals. I turned that all the way up because we're going to need clutch stops we gonna need clutch stops. I wanna be able to have at least one defensive badge. You know what I'm saying, bro? This year I'm gonna plan on making at least two players. I'm not gonna be trying to make 
all these builds like I made in 17, 18, and 19. I'm just making two players. Like, I'm going to make a sharp shooting or two-way superstar with a like, shooting ability and a lock, something like that. But, yeah, this is my final build. I think I ended up turning the shot, close shot all the way up. I didn't really want to turn the driving layups up because you're not – it's a low chance you're going to miss a wide open layup. I don't really care about the layups. I think I'm going to end up turning it back up because I want to be able to get those James Harden layups in the beginning of the game because I like his Euro step, and it's really effective. It's not like the other Euro steps. I made him slight so he can be fast. Turn his height down. I think I ended up making him 6'4". Yeah, I made him 6'4". People said make, make him 6'3 to get the 88 ball control off rip. But yeah, I made him. I was turning down just playing around. 94 ball control, 6 feet tall, 6 to 7, you know, get that. I was going to make him 6 5 and then be able to turn the wingspan down, get him at 86. Just made him 6 4, turn his weight down. I didn't make it like that. I turned it up 180. Made him a 76 wingspan. So he has an 89 ball control now. Now my takeover. My takeover, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going with the sharp shooter takeover. Because. Think about it. When you get your takeover, already your players might not be able to shoot open like that without badges. So when you get takeover, it's over. <laughs> no point of the takeover badge. But I'm really excited to see what this game has to offer this year. I'm, I'm just excited, man. This demo, people say it was a bad demo. I mean, some parts of it were bad, but it really helped people get the feel of the game of what we're going to expect for this year. So I can't really say it's a bad demo, I mean it's a demo, so what do you expect? You, you can't expect to be picky and dribble moves on a demo, on a prelude, I guess, like, yeah, prelude is basically the whole my career, demo is just letting you play the game. I'm used to the demo because I played so many other demos, like, what's the name, I played demos like Madden, UFC, but UFC, last demo they made was like 2011, something like that, so yeah. I'm used to playing demos because back I did not have I did not have money so just had to dug it out on the demos the free demos and play with one team or a UFC play with one fighter stuff like that but yeah man I'm gonna test my build out at 99 this is a very good option I like how 2K is doing it this year they don't people like judge them for like all the macro transactions which I agree with but yeah. This is a smart decision to let you test out your build to see what you really want. So all the people last year who were saying this stuff takes no skill, this and that takes no skill, we're gonna see. We're really gonna see who really is rocking. But like, I decided I, I'm a, I need corner specialist. I turn green machine up because you need that. That's how you get hot. And then yeah, I put corner specialist on bronze because if I have green machine, I'm gonna make a cor corner three, and I, it's a high chance that. I'm gonna be just shooting at the top of the key, and a low chance that I'm not gonna—I'm not even gonna be going to the corner for shots unless I'm in my career, just trying to get hot spots. And I don't know exactly if Park hot spots, Pro Am hot spots, and my career hot spots are still in the game. We just gotta see till the game come out, cause they don't let you view the 2K card over here. I'm guessing because you're not on the team. But they should—I feel like I agree because I feel like they should have made a prelude for this game because. You got guys like Chris Move who are already playing my career. I mean, I understand he works with 2K, but hey, you see, I um put on what's the name off ball pass because a lot of people in anti up last year and in park on the threes court they like to just score off off ball screens and zigzag the whole game, which takes absolutely no skill. You've never seen an NBA player just sit there dexing you just to get a wide open shot. But hey, I don't know if that's in the game still. This is some little itty bitty clips. They ain't nothing too special. I'm just pulling up. I mean, it is on rookie, so I can't really say this build is golly. This. All I'm gonna say is, guys, these YouTubers, they're gonna tell you the best build, but when they really say that, it means their best build. It's not your best build. It's not the best build on the game. It's their build. This game is all about the build you wanna make. So for you guys that really, um, really just copy other people's builds, you can do that. But then you're just gonna waste VC when you find out that the build doesn't suit your playstyle. So my advice to you is don't listen to another YouTuber's build. If you want to, you can. But hey, that's on you. That's your VC. But yeah, just make your own thing. Find your own calling. And I'm out, yo. Peace. Subscribe to the channel. More to come.